So today I have a huge haul for you all. I went to six thrift stores on my northern thrifting adventure and I figured I would just do one great big haul and show you everything that I got from all six thrift stores. So I'll start off with everything that I got from Warman MCC Thrift Shop. I found this Shisham wood letter organizer holder and it's in really nice condition. I paid $2 for it and I will list this in my Etsy shop for around $24 to $28. And I think I said I paid two bucks for it. And then I found this piece and I wasn't gonna get it because it was $6, but it was actually 50% off. I did not realize that all pink tags were 50% off, so I got it for three. And it is a rose bowl. It's got the plastic insert inside, and I guess you would put roses, or I guess any kind of flowers could go inside there. And the plastic insert helps hold them up. And they come out of the top here. I really like the natural patina on it. So I'm not gonna shine it up or anything. I'm gonna list it as is. You can tell it's older by the green velvet on the bottom. That's a good indication of age. I don't think it's antique because of the plastic piece on the inside, but I would say probably definitely maybe 1950s or 60s. And I'm gonna list this in my Etsy shop for 32 to $38. I had to write that all down on a piece of paper on some notes because I knew I would not remember what I'm gonna list each item for. So then I found some sunglasses and I'm pretty sure these are vintage, vintage as in 20 years or older. They're definitely not 1950s cat eye sunglasses, I don't believe, but I do think they are vintage. And they're in pretty nice condition. They're not all scratched up, which is pretty rare to find a pair of sunglasses that aren't all scratched up. There's no markings or anything on them, so I don't know where they're from. I'm gonna list these in my Etsy shop for $28 to $32. I'm not gonna keep them for myself. They do fit, but not really my style, I don't think. I don't think the really high cat eye is really my style. What do you think? <laughs> Probably gonna list them in my Etsy shop. And I think I paid a dollar for them. So that was everything that I found from the MCC thrift shop. And then I went over to Ideal to You. Oh, actually, wait, no, I found a couple. I found a, a uh, Easter basket. It was 50 cents. It's a raffia basket and it's got plastic on the inside. It does have some wear. The handles are kind of coming apart here. They're still connected. But I just thought it was super cute. Couldn't resist for 50 cents. And then I also had this one that I've had for several years. I don't know why I haven't listed it. It does have a tag on the inside that says made in the People's Republic of China. But it is a vintage one, I'm quite sure. It's got green on the inside. So I'm gonna list these two together in my Etsy shop. I think they'd make super cute um, Easter decor. Could put a plant in them or whatever. I think I'm gonna list them together for about $24 for both of them together. So that was everything that I got from the MCC thrift shop in Worman. And then I went over to Ideal to You and just got a couple of things there. I found this beautiful piece of pottery and I'm pretty sure that it's got a picture of a quail. I'm pretty sure that's a quail. It's got a really nice hand painted design on it. And it was $3. It is marked on the bottom. I haven't done any research on this artist. 
it's signed and marked on the bottom, so I just couldn't resist for $3. I thought that's a beautiful piece. You could put pens in it, toothbrushes, or actual flowers. But I thought it was a beautiful piece of pottery. And I'm going to list that in my Etsy shop for around $28 to $32. And then I found this Dismond candle holder. It's got the teak and then the metal for the for holding candles. It was $1. These are listed for really high on Etsy, quite high for just one of these in the $50 range. But I think I'm going to list this one for around $36 to $38. We'll see how it does. I can always reduce the price. And I often put my shop on sale 10 15 sometimes 20 percent off so we'll see how it does at 32 to 38 dollars and that was everything that i got from ideal to you my total in there was nine dollars my total in warm and thrift shop was six dollars and fifty cents and then i went down the highway and i stopped in osler and I picked up a few nice vintage items there as well from Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop in Osler. So the first thing I found at Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop was this really pretty little stoneware pottery teapot. It's in really nice condition. I paid $4 for it. No chips or cracks or anything. It's got the original plastic protector on the spout and it's quite clean and just a really pretty little teapot I would say 1970s or 80s and I'm going to list this in my Etsy shop 28 to 32 dollars and then this piece of pottery I just really like the design I like that it had kind of a stone base to it with the feet and it's kind of got a just unusual design on it. It was $4. There is a marking on the inside. I don't know if that's just a flaw, production flaw, or if that's actually a maker's mark or stamp or anything. I don't know. There's no markings on the bottom. It could very well just be a manufactured piece but it's, it's a really beautiful piece, really nice quality piece. So I figured for $4, I would grab it. So I'm gonna list this in my Etsy shop for, what did I have on this? I mean, 32 to $34. And I grabbed a couple of books for myself, creating container garden. And this is kind of more for Wendell because he is really into container gardens. <laughs> and then all about growing fruits and berries. And he's really into his fruit trees. So I just thought for a dollar each, I'd pick these up. And I like to buy vintage cookbooks, gardening books, plant books, bird books. I like them for display and they're fun to just look through. I've got lots of nice pictures and information. So I grabbed those for myself. And my total in Gospel Echoes team was $11. And then I went down the street or down the highway to Hague, Saskatchewan, to a little thrift shop there called Valley Country Thrift Store. And I found these plastic retro 1970s coffee mugs. They're plastic with a metal handle in the olive green and I guess this is kind of a av avocado green and olive green. <laughs> I guess that's what you'd call them. And I picked these up because I thought these would be perfect for our 1973 bowler and I paid a dollar each for them. And then I found this adorable ceramic kitschy anthropomorphic bunny, Easter bunny. And it was $1. 
There is a sticker on the bottom, but I am, haven't been able to make that out. So I don't know who made this piece. It does look like Japan, possibly Taiwan. Might be 1980s, I don't know for sure. But super cute, and with Easter around the corner, I figured definitely a good little item to pick up. And I will list this in my Etsy shop for maybe $18. And I found this beautiful ruby red cut to clear wine goblet for 25 cents. <laughs> it's stunning. It's got a beautiful stem on and it's kind of got a little bit of a beading and just a really pretty design. I wish there was a pair. So I don't know if I'm gonna list this or keep this for myself. I might keep it for myself because I don't have any fancy wine glasses, but I might list it for around $20, $24, or I'll hold on to it and see if maybe I can possibly find another one. We'll see. So that was everything that I got at Valley Country Thrift Store in Hague. My total in there was $4.24. And then I took a little drive down the highway and I stopped in Rostern, Saskatchewan, and I found just a couple things there. I found this beautiful alabaster vase, really unique design. It was only $3 and I will list it in my Etsy shop for $42 to $46. And then I found this beautiful art glass ashtray. I paid $20 for it, so I did pay up a bit for it. And I do believe that its value is at least, I would say, 58 to 60, maybe $68, somewhere in that price range. So I will probably list it somewhere in that price range, 58 to $68, a really nice condition. I love the color and the shape. It's just really neat. So that was everything that I got from the clothes basket, the MCC clothes basket in Rostern. And then I went to Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, and I went to the Salvation Army and I got quite a few things in there. So I found this handmade safety pin basket. And it was $8. I wasn't sure I wanted to pay $8 for it, but ultimately I couldn't leave it behind because it's pretty, it's pretty fabulous. It's got the kind of bronze colored safety pins and really nice peach colored beads. And these are a little bit iridescent. And I did find a lot of these listed on Etsy the average price is around $25 to $30 for one of these. So I'll probably list it for somewhere in that price range. I'm thinking about maybe $24, $24 to $28. And we'll see how it does. And I found this Hawaii mug and there's no markings on the bottom. It's got a hula girl and palm trees. Just a fun little Hawaiian mug. And I paid, I believe I paid 50 cents for it. And I'm gonna list it for about 15, probably 15 to $18. I found these Tupperware spice containers. There's just three of them. It's missing the brown one. I paid $1. And they had the original little stickers for if you, whatever you put in the spice container, you can put the, the sticker on it. So that's kind of cool. It's got the original one, so I will sell it together. And I have sold a few of these in my Etsy shop. This one without the brown spice container, but with the original stickers. I'm probably going to list this one for around $18 to $22. And then I found my favorite chalkware fish. 
I paid $5 for it. It does have a little chip there, but it's right where the gold is. So it could easily be touched up with some gold paint there. And then a little bit of chipping right there as well on the tip, which could also be touched up, but hung on the wall. You would never notice that. I'm going to list this in my Etsy shop for 24 to 26 dollars. And I got this little compact. It is a Parker Pens compact made in Canada in really nice condition. A little puff is still in really nice condition. It does have powder underneath this area here. So I'm not gonna open that. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna list this in my Etsy shop or not. There's a bit of wear here, a little bit of patina and wear on the gold. But if I do list it, I will probably list it for around 28 to $32. I found these placemats, I guess you call them. Couldn't quite figure out what exactly you would call these. They are Ricardo Art, made in Belgium. And I just thought they were beautiful, beautiful green velvet and raspberry color. And there's three of them in this size and then one a little bit larger. Very bohemian, I would say. So I paid $1 for them and I am going to list them all together. I think I'm gonna list them all together in a, as a set, 32 to $38. And this picture was $2. I haven't opened the back, but I'm guessing this is probably from a magazine. That was my, that's my guess. <laughs> Wish there wasn't a glare so you could really see how beautiful the blown glass picture is here. I guess you can see it. I just really thought that was a beautiful picture and a very nice old wooden frame. I don't think it's something that I'm going to list in my Etsy shop, but if you are interested in it, feel free to email me at the email in the description below this video. If you are interested, I will sell it. You can send me an offer, but because I think that it is just from a magazine, it's not something that I'll probably list in my Etsy shop. So it's a beautiful vintage piece. I grabbed this true vintage carpet purse for $5. It's got a really nice design. Feels kind of like a carpet. <laughs> the rose and leaf pattern on it. And I believe this is, I think this is real leather. I could be wrong. It feels like real leather. It is JR made in Canada. There is just a bit of, I don't think it's a stain. It almost looks like a bleach spot. But other than that, it's in really nice condition for its age. It's quite clean on the inside. Nice top handle purse. And I'm going to list this for 52 to $58 in my Etsy shop. And I found a couple of vintage sunglasses. Paid $2 each for them. These are true vintage. Just kind of a, not a super high quality plastic. So I might just bring these to the flea market and sell them there. They're too big for me, they're too wide. Although they could probably be adjusted I'll see if this is my 
that's more my it's more my style than the cat eye I think so I might maybe adjust them see if I can get them to fit me a little bit better and then maybe I'll keep them we'll see and then I got these little children's vintage sunglasses so super cute there's a mark on the inside there they're made in Italy I believe really super cute we'll see if they fit me <laughs> they definitely don't fit me <laughs> yeah a little too small but I was thinking that I might possibly give them to my son's stepdaughter she is turning three years old and she likes to wear sunglasses super cute little one and maybe she'd like these little vintage sunglasses so I might give them to her for her third birthday I found her a super cute vintage birthday card, so maybe I'll give her those sunglasses. And then I spotted this in their case, and I just thought it was so beautiful. It is For Baby with Love by Kleinarts. Kleinarts? And I think it is a christening outfit. I only paid $3 for it really nice condition it's so pretty just a beautiful vintage christening dress and then it's got the little i think this is just a little slip that would go underneath the dress beautiful can't believe it was only three dollars i wasn't sure if it was three or thirty but she said it was three so i said okay i'll buy it <laughs> So I'm not really sure what I'm going to list this for in my Etsy shop. I haven't done any research on what something like this is worth. So to be determined. If I do figure it out, by the time I'm done editing this video, I will add it in here somewhere. And then I found these vintage drapes. I can find where they start here. Oh, here we go. They were $3. I'm not sure if they were $3 each or $3 for the pair. I think they were $3 each. Still really, really inexpensive, really nice condition. Got a very nice design on them, quite long. And they just almost feel like like wool and then this part is like a valance so it looks almost like a valance over top so I will list these I think I'm going to list these in my Etsy shop I thought maybe I might keep them for my dining room but I haven't I haven't tried them to see if they will work in there so I still might keep them and I think this is the last thing that I got from the Salvation Army was this plant pot. It was $3. It is red clay pottery. I think I am just going to keep it for myself. It did have a lot of old crusty stuff in it and I got most of it out. But it did does have a, a boo-boo at the bottom here. Some of the terracotta is kind of cracking so I'll probably just keep it for myself I really like the design and the color the colorway so that was everything that I got from the Salvation Army and my total was $42.85 and then I went to Value Village so the first thing I found at Value Village was this adorable little deer planter in really nice condition. I paid $3.49 for it. And I am going to list it in my Etsy shop for $24 to $28. I believe it is Japan. And I found this really unique photo album, Snapshots. It's got the embossed design of a Native American chief. I think it's Burbank of Canada. I think that is what that says. And this is leather, leather on the front and back. And then the black paper 
for putting photos. Really nice little photo album. And it was $2.99. I'm going to list it in my Etsy shop for $28 to $32. I found some glassware and I really don't need any glassware, but I can't resist really great vintage glassware. So I picked a set of three of these up for, what did I pay, $4.99 for these. Really fun red and yellow floral design. The amber, is that amber? Guess you call it amber and I'm going to list the three of these in my Etsy shop for $24 and I found five of these for $7.99 and same color amber and they've got the orange and yellow wheat pattern on them None of them have any markings on the bottom. They do look like Libby glasses, but I could not find any markings on them, so I don't know for sure. So this was a set of five. I am probably gonna list them as a set of four, and I'll list them for 28 to $32. And then these ones were $5.99. I got four of them. And they're not marked either. I haven't done any research. I'll probably be able to find more information once I do. But they all kind of look like lippy glasses, but I don't know for sure. They got a nice butterfly design. And I'll list the four of these for 20, probably about 26 to $28. And I went to the bag section and I thought I scored in the bag section, but I didn't really score in the bag section. So when I went through them, most of the Coisonne vases are broken. They should look like that, the little handles, but most of them look like that. The handles were broken off and they're not true vintage cloisonne, I don't think. So I'm not sure. I got two, four, five of the vases. You can see all of them. All of them have their little handles are broken. And then there was three of these little stands for the vases. So I'm going to keep one of these for I have a Coisonne egg, so I'm going to keep one to set my egg on. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these because they're broken. I might list them all in a lot for not a lot of money. Maybe someone could use them for something, some sort of crafting purposes. Or maybe I'll just give them as a free gift with purchase. And then the rest was ducks. And these ducks are all in really nice condition. They're all hand-painted wood. There's two larger ones, I guess a mama and a, a daddy. And then there was several small ones, all different colors, purple. got three, four, five, I think six small ones in there, all painted a little bit different. So I might list these in a lot together in my Etsy shop, I'm not sure. That's probably what I'll do. They weren't as great as I thought they were, but that's okay. Still really fun to look and find vintage items in the bag section. So then I went over to the linens and I scored big over there. And if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, of course you know that I love vintage towels and I found a nice little stack of vintage towels. So this one was new old stock, little hand towel. 
It was $1.99 and it has its original Kmart tag on it. This is a Wabasso towel made in Canada. So I'm gonna list this one for, I would say about 18 to $22. And then this one was $4.99. It is a field crest towel made in USA, 100% cotton. Wasn't sure if I was gonna grab this one because it's, I don't know if it's the most desirable color combination. I think it's kind of fun, very, 1970s I would say really nice quality towel nice size so I'm going to list this one for 24 to 28 dollars and I found this set this was a really fun set to find very 1960s 70s kind of more 70s I think really nice condition they are Sears Bath Mates, made in Canada, 90% cotton, 10% polyester. And I do have a matching face cloth, so I might add that in to the set. And I'm gonna list this set for likely 32 to $38 for the set of two. And then this one. <laughs> This is another new old stock. It is vintage. It is a Camtex made in Canada. It's a honeymooners towel. It's $1.99 and there's some kind of risque pictures on here, but really fun vintage towel. And I'm gonna list this one for 22 to $24. And I found a couple of sets of pillowcases, really pretty. I got this set. They were $5.49 for the set. So there's this pair of really kind of bright springy daffodils and daisies. That's really fun, really pretty spring design. I'm gonna list these for 28 to $32. And then this blue set, it's very springy as well, was $5.49. Really pretty. Cotton, Let's see if there's a tag in these ones. I don't see a tag anywhere. See if this one has a tag. Yeah, this one does have a tag. It is Taste Master, no, Taste Maker, made in USA. 50% polyester, 50% cotton. They're very soft though. They feel more cotton than polyester. But these ones I don't think have a tag, so I'm not sure. So I'll list both of those in my Etsy shop for 28 to $32. And this was my favorite find. I love this blanket, it is so fun. I sold one exactly like this, it was blue and it had yellow here rather than the orange. And I think this was either blue or yellow, possibly white. And I paid only $4.99 for it. Kind of odd, I paid $5.49 for these, but $4.99 for this. I'm not complaining, it's a good price. And it looks like an Esmond, I think it's Esmond, I think that's the proper way to say it, but I don't know, I haven't found a tag, so I don't know if it is. I don't know what size it is either, so I'll have to see the size and kind of go from there. So that was everything that I got from Value Village, and my total in there was $56.54. And that is everything for today. And this is a bit of a long haul, so if you're still here, thank you so much. I love you. You rock. You are the best. You're my favorite. <laughs> and if you're new here and you like my content, please consider subscribing 
Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. If you have any other information, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.